Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DreamHack. We're here with levelupyourgame.net. We're going to be giving you all the coverage the whole weekend, and we're even going to be starting soon with our very first game, which is going to be a BYOC final matchup uh, between someone who shouldn't probably be in the BYOC. It's Maddox versus a Dutch player, um, Jai Pai, I think he's called. That's what I'm going to guess it. I'm James Hugood Harding. And I will be your host. I'm uh, currently sat in front of all the players in front of me. I can see Noctus, Demon, Zamus has turned up. He he looks he looks great. He always looks great. Faz is there, um, sporting the kind of homeless, uh, I traveled around the world look. And uh, Fox is uh, warming up against him as well. So we've got a whole host of players in front of us. We'll be moving into the group stages a little bit later. But, of course, I am here, not only representing DreamHack, Quake Live and everyone else i'm also here representing levelupyourgame.net and thanks to those guys we will have a, a stream and a couple of them are on uh, mumble with me so uh, guys do you want to give a quick introduction to who's going to be around and helping out well hello i'm going to be Bataya. i'm just sort of the stats guy for the weekend i'll be letting Tuga do all the shag casting as you guys really appreciate and want to hear him more than me so enjoy it there you go and that's it for the moment and they can't, you can't hear Trans because he mutes himself, but he's the guy that's bringing you the stream from Belgium, so big thanks to those two. Yeah, and uh, Bellager will hopefully, um, I mean, the kind of stats that I'm interested in is kind of like, you know, basically how successful they're being, uh, how successful the players are on the maps when we come to group stages, you know, like, what's their strongest weapon to get kills, what's their, you know, what are they dying the most to? Uh, I actually did statistics for the Intel Extreme Masters after it finished, I didn't have time while it was drawing, and, you know, I could tell you stuff like, you know, Cooler gets... 50% um, of his kills on DM6 with a rocket launcher as opposed to strengths that gets 80% of his kills on DM6 with um, uh, Sorry 80% of his kills with a lightning gun on um, on DM6 so and DM6 actually strengths is kind of right because uh, a majority of the kills from the Intel Extreme Masters were all with LG but it's kind of interesting to see you know how the difference of players and how they play and uh, that's certainly if we can get any statistics as we go along it might be able to uh, give us a clue about who's going to have the upper hand etc when we move into the finals on the final day okay so i'm in on the server i don't know what you guys at home are seeing trance will probably tell me and i won't be able to hear him what they're currently seeing but i'm currently watching maddox and also uh how do you how do i say his name i've got the admins around me lovely admins pax how do i say the dutch guy's name you don't know, do you? No. Worthless. You want to take a guess? DP? I'm going to call him Pi. Or JP. JP sounds better. He's got highlights on JP. Um, so this is the BYOC. As I mentioned, the finals. Uh, Maddox, you know, really interesting that he's in the BYOC. Um, Cooler, by the way, uh, didn't get his visa sorted. Um, not nothing to do with DreamHack. Um, this DreamHack sent uh, Cooler the visa. Uh, really in due time, Grey Khan from Raka Car, you know, uh, did that. So uh, well done, Grey Khan. Raka Car, who also bringing you some live streams and also uh, helping me get set up here. This. And uh, so Cooler apparently just got his visa denied, but it was rumored he was already in Germany practicing. Um, so I don't know how he wasn't able to get from Germany to uh, Sweden. So I don't know what's true and what's not. But if you are wondering, for a lot of people disappointed that Cooler's not at DreamHack, he kind of is in a way. Because at DreamHack, if you turn up on Friday, the day before the event starts, there are rows and rows of tables ready to kind of, you know, seat the gamers on the, on the following day, Saturday. But every single seat has a, um, has a DreamHack magazine on it. You know, so you, know, you come to DreamHack, you get a DreamHack magazine. Woohoo. Front cover of the DreamHack magazine. On 7,000, I think it is, um, places, there is Cooler's face with the title Cooler's Coming to DreamHack. So he may not be here in person, but there is like 7,000 odd magazines with Cooler's face on it. So, you know, he's kind of here. It's going to be a shame. And uh, Bettiger doing statistics. Maddox versus uh, JP. Does, do you know anything about JP? No, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> no. Well, the thing is, like, he's come from Netherlands to come to DreamHack, so, you know, he's obviously, he, I mean, he's already qualified to go into the main tournament, because there is a BYOC slots in um, uh, in the different groups, so he's already got himself a spot in the main tournament, and uh, I'm sure he's uh, happy with that, but beating Maddox is just going to maybe be um, a huge challenge. Possible this is going to be. 
I'm gonna check with the admins when we can get them ready. Yay! Is my microphone level okay? Uh, by the way, as well, if you are watching this, um, we're gonna get like... We're gonna... Ooh, I, I got a mumble error there. Or something. But we're gonna get um, a lot more of the games going on later. We want this to kind of go viral. We want everybody watching to spam around levelupyourgame.net and we're gonna see how many people we can get for these group stage games today. And it's gonna be pretty good. And uh, also, don't forget, if you wanna hang out on IRC, go to... Um, uh, quakenet.org and then you want to head into hash level and then up and up is the kind of shift seven or something you the little up arrow um so head over to there and that's the irc channel where you can find us i'm going to be in there giving you updates all the uh level up guys are going to be there and uh you can spam away and uh, that's where that's your gtv ruffle so uh, head up to the irc okay Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that might be a little bit better now. Sorry, I, I almost have to scream because there's this um, pulsing noise in the background. You ever come... Oh, okay, well, if you ever come to DreamHack, it's just... Um, there's, like, they just listen to, like, what it seems to be hard techno for four days and just drink a lot of Coke. That's what I'm trying to, yeah, it's, it's what I'm uh, dumbing out right now. So hopefully you can hear me okay over the game sounds, and we are going to go live into ZTN. They've already removed map, uh, maps, and I think DM6 was uh, one of them removed. We are going to move in. I'm going to be with JP for the moment, who's got himself a yellow and red. Ban down some grenades. Uh, needs to get a rocket launcher, if uh, pro possible. I'm not sure why he wants to... I mean, Maddox is probably gone now for the rocket launcher. Yeah, so he needs to get on the rocket launcher to make sure he's ready to pick a kind of a close-range fight. Nice uh, defense there, but still no guns ready for JP. Gets himself a railgun. Out of position for uh, Red, so... Big problems for him already, because Maddox is really going to start tooling up. JP needs to get himself on the rocket launcher, but he's too slow. That comes picks a railgun fight. Two railguns from JP. And he, he's probably not going to win this mega. Unless he goes aggressive. But he seems to be kept at bay. Now a railgun comes back and he's kind of missed his opportunity. And is go through the teleporter. His strafe jumping. A little bit short. Um, he's not getting as much distance as he should. And he was kind of lucky not to get hit by a spam rocket from Maddox there. And he's going to just cut him up. JP is going to stand on the head of Maddox. And he's, and he's right out of ammo. Oh my god. This is just going to go downhill from here on in. 1 0 to Maddox. Let's switch over to Maddox. I mean, he started off two nice railguns. And there on in, like it was going to work after that. He failed to make um, a rush onto Mega. He had an opportunity to. Maddox spots him down at the Mega. Go for it, yeah. He's got 25 seconds to spawn. He's going to try and get at least one of the yellows. Bottom yellow should be picked up by uh, JP. He's taking a sweet time about it, though. Probably still down here, and this is a bad situation. Maddox here, and two perfect rockets. LG to finish. And it looks like the first game of DreamHack. Separate the, uh, the men from the boys. Maddox will then be joining the men's club. Going against some of the, uh, the big players. Welcome to the group stages, of course. A player that has uh, been able to beat Faz and... Faz says, uh, Faz says about him a long time ago, before the Intellect Stream Masters started. You know, he's one of the most talented players, aim-wise. And you can see there, just from that lovely flick railgun. Uh, you know, he's quick and... Quite a young player compared to others. Pup to try and chase. Top yellow not spawned yet. And... case of if, you know, JP's going to get a frag on him, it's just a... But certainly a, a nice way for Maddox to enter the tournament. You've got to think, a lot of people here already are having to do practice games, and, you know, Sparty actually did practice games versus Strengths. Um, 5-0 in favor of Strengths and Maps. Sparty's not the kind of person that can bring his A-game to practice. He kind of just... Plays uh, very freely and tightens up a lot in uh,
LG. That was uh, almost 100%. Well gun shot. Nice drop down without making a noise. Got a shot here if he wants it. Doesn't go for the... Uh, oh, he's got no railgun. Sorry. Switch over to JP and just see... Um, It's good that he's kept the score, though, because uh, ZTM, when you're in control, as you know, if you get a kill and you're in control, oh, this could have worked out nicely had Maddox missed the first railgun, but rockets onto a Maddox probably won't hurt. Dharma's up. Shards would have been a better pickup for me rather than just escaping, and he's uh, moved away from the bottom yellow, and now he's put himself in a kind of uh, a bad position. Maddox will move around the map and he's taking the top yellow and I think JP is going to take it up the ass any moment no like and nice to push up oh he could take this mega if he doesn't know it it's sacrifice just go for it uh B don't know I've got a countdown clock on so uh five and a half minutes that armor's gone again. That grenade's kept him at bay, and that grenade's been important. That's going to be the kill, and it's not even a kill. It's a suicide. Yeah, so uh, just to talk a little bit then, you know, as the match is um, a, a downhill spiral for JP, unfortunately. and uh, But, you know, he's actually playing a decent game. So don't, you know, think this is um, no-namer. He certainly, you know, can hit some LG, can hit some rails. He just, he doesn't have the confidence, it seems, to, uh, or the ability to, to break the armor of Maddox. Like, he doesn't, he, there's no holes in the defense that he's creating. He's just kind of, he's, he's getting eaten away at, and then eventually he topples over. And that's just, um, you know, that's just a difference in Quake of uh, skill of players. But he does have Mega facing the wrong way. Up, and that's a perfect rocket, even from a lower level that rocket came from. Alright, so to explain what I'm doing. I'm uh, currently sat here with a microphone. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm supposedly getting a second microphone. I supplied one of them, but the microphone I need is like a... Uh, and, you know, I need a proper microphone with XLR. I have like a professional sound card. Eventually, I want to have a second microphone here where I could talk to players and I could... Fox and Faz aren't doing much right now, so I could even bring them over. And if I had a second microphone, so that's DreamHack. Hopefully, you're going to be getting me that one. They've... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Or I can, um, of course, do journalist style, which is where I just bring them over for interviews and pass the mic. But I kind of wanted to have some co-commentators because, I mean, you know, I, I've played the game on a high level for a long time, but I'm not playing at the pro level now. Um, before I came to DreamHack, I did play Faz and went 9-8, which was kind of funny. He won, though, bastard. He hid behind a corner. The trouble is with Faz is he plays so loosely that he had so many holes in his defense that even a player like me that shouldn't be able to create opportunities versus him, you know, he allows me to, but also because his style is so loose, he also forces other players to give him opportunities that he can then break their defense, but still don't have that kind of uh, tight game and methodical game of, say, Noctus. So I'm going to be here. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get my second mic, but for today, I'll see if I can bring the players over for some Headphone splitter, so if I get a second headphones, we can have a uh, Betager and uh, some NVC throw some questions to the pros, or if you guys uh, want to ask them anything in IRC. Should be, uh, that should be DreamHack, and we're going to be here for three days, and as I said, get as many people as you can watching it. We could, I could just say that NVC is currently at ESWC UK, looking to Losing. take the UK spot. Maybe, yeah. Don't know. Gonna play Garpy, right? Yeah, Garpy's there. Between sort of NBC and Garpy, he gets the UK spot. Oh no, JP got a kill! Legends. Handshake at DreamHack already. And I'm not sure whose map choice this was, so... I mean, nice kill from him there. Uh, you know, really good LG into Plasma. Going on here, he's just above the, um, the threshold to take a Railgun. Didn't switch out to Railgun early enough, he wanted to, he wanted to bait it with a machine gun and misses uh, the second Railgun shot that was available, so... Back away, he's hoping not to get trapped in the red, yep, yeah, uh, Maddox has gone for that top yellow. 
They will ship me again for the red armor. This is going to be the key point for uh, JP to kind of get get you know off the zero scoreboard. And he had an opportunity there, but actually kind of didn't react fast enough. Didn't know uh, Maddox was going to be coming from shards and just kind of skipped over him. Red armor's up. It's taken again, and now JP is going to be at a real big deficit. Bumpy. No, I I got someone pretending to be my webcam here. I've got, I've got a lot of people walking around me, so uh, they see me kind of sit down with my microphone and they come say hi. Someone just... Aged. Okay, it's maybe because the levels are too low now. I, I, I mean, I should have it, like, I tested it earlier and I had it about here and it was fine. So, I had to turn the... Um, different mode uh, i had to change the i had to change the um cutoff point because of the the music yeah but if i'm too i shouldn't be crackling though this should be okay on mumble but okay we'll have to see yeah that's that's because i changed the microphone volume because you told me i was too loud okay i'm talking to somebody there by the way he doesn't Telling me about my volume. All right, so this one's going to be over in three. Maddox going to pick it up as we maybe expected, thirteen to zero, and we can kind of see just from the end of the game that he, you know, hit a twenty percent accuracy, actually less than JP. Um, can't get the uh, the uh, individual scores, but LG was kind of a little bit of a weapon to choice. A uh, choice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, JP says he got a kill, so he can live with it. Uh, we are also going to have uh, Joe Miller coming down for the final day where uh, we are going to be streaming the grand finals um, over on the DreamHack Extreme in front of like a thousand people here at DreamHack in the uh, cinema. Uh, where he'll be taking over play by play and I'll do some color. But for the moment, you're stuck with just me. We'll have to see how this one works out. And hopefully we can get into the group stages pretty soon after the um, the BYOC. I know I've got a schedule, but I really don't check it because I'm lazy. JP's an aspiring player. He knows he's not consistent, but he's certainly got something going for him. He's certainly got the basics. And we're going to move in into nine. Three, two, of decay. One. We are going to go live. JP going to get the worst spawn ever. And Maddox very quick off the spawn to pick up the first LG kill. Going to skip the yellow armor. Smart play by him. Could maybe push there, but wants to go back for the yellow. Covering the uh, rocket launcher. Nice rocket he hit. That was He knows that was direct and will follow up for the kill. Looking to force spawn. Not going to happen. Spawn was, uh, came in a little bit delayed. Got the LG. But he's taking a lot of rocket damage. The LG, the yellow armor is going to be... Spawning, as you know, it's already taken, sorry, off the spawn. So nothing here to gain for Maddox apart from the kill, and he will get it. Now he's going to try and get rotation on the second yellow. He's been cut off by a rocket launcher. And he's going to take position here to kind of spam, make sure he can get the mega. And JP being a bit sneaky, he's caught Maddox off a couple of times on this map. And I know this is a map that Maddox should be great at. I mean, he's, he's a fantastic LG rail player. And, uh, you know, you eliminate the rail, but you've still got the LG here. Definitely seems to be hitting better rockets, and that's certainly uh, a worthy LG. And there comes the rocket to finish. And, well, JP already having a, a problematic start. And you got to think, JP, right now, he's going to be fighting for anything he's get. But he's definitely going to be losing timing soon on the items. We are going to have a mega up. JP knows it's coming. He hasn't got a rocket to work with, I don't think. Spamming grenades isn't going to help him. All Maddox needs to do is get himself one yellow, and he's not even, like, trying to take the yellows off the bat. He's just trying to, like, put himself in a position between the yellows so he can decide which one to go for and help to secure two. So that was a really smart play for Maddox just to kind of wait at the mid portal and not commit to a yellow because then he could have actually lost one. Uh, had um, JP come through the teleporter and tried to get a yellow, he would definitely push him away with the LG. So... Good play for Maddox. Very smart play to control those two yellows, and he will most likely be going to reward himself. Big map control. Mega. Comes in soon. Rocket jump up into LG. A little bit over uh, ambitious here. 
not even in a disadvantaged position, but wow, down to 10 HP, and Maddox is just, you know, kind of, I think Maddox in that fight did more damage to himself than JP did. Three rocket jumps, and, uh, you know, so JP and Maddox got a kill on Maddox, so good job, teamwork. Four to one. Maddox is uh, above Mega and he knows it. He's just got to watch the teleporter. Nice spam rocket and that was perfectly placed. You saw how that bounced him back towards the teleporter exit. And uh, from there, Maddox actually hid himself behind the wall with after the rocket spam, taking no damage, giving him enough time to change out to the LG where he would have been able to pick an LG fight. And uh, you, you're just using everything perfectly. Good rocket there from JP though. And that one just flew past the ear of Maddox. Nice rocket from Maddox. That was a direct connection. That's going to really hurt JP. He's actually uh, lost all his armor. First rocket from JP out the... Um, trying to catch Maddox on the portal. Not so good. He's going to be in a tough position to uh, ambush this Mega. He's lucky that Maddox has gone down a little bit too early. And uh, he should try and make use of this. He's got no rocket launcher, but there comes the kill with an LG. And that was a mistake from Maddox. You don't stand on Mega five seconds early when you've got position on Teleporter. And uh, Maddox not having the time is going to give JP a, uh, a glimmer of hope as he brings the frag difference to three. And he's only got himself to blame. So JP, you know, eliminate the railgun, you know, and just kind of say, let's have a fight in this map, which is kind of what it is. Uh, I mean, it's like you can definitely pull people, um, catch people in worse positions on this map more than you can ZTN. ZTN is very easy to play very safe, which is why you have those infamous kind of zero zero games, but not on this map. Um, you know, you can pull him out of position a lot more. JP's done it a couple of times, but that time went very bad for him. And uh, he is going to go at a four frag deficit. Nothing to work with off the spawn, but once again, you know, he can use that teleporter to try and get the initial shot with a rocket launcher. Maddox is probably going to challenge up the stairs. He does do so. JP's rocket's not so successful here. Maddox is really playing a stronger rocket game. JP's mouse sensitivity is very high compared to Maddox as well. Maddox... No, he, he's very fast, but he definitely has a lot lower sensitivity. And you can see with uh, JP, the way he moves his, moves around, he's kind of like... It's okay like to, to have this high sensitivity, but when you play versus pros, you can suffer on aim. And you just need a sensitivity high enough that your movement is comfortable. Now, saying that, though, his LG, you know, his LG has been good, but he's actually at 18%. And that's kind of like really, really... Uh, you know, low, even if you're trying to just spam it. Maddox is 21% spamming the LG around the corner. We'll get him a kill. But yeah, Maddox definitely has a, a much more controlled movement and aim. JP has caught him out a couple of times, but have to do something amazing. And that's going to probably finish him off with the plasma gun. Nice switch out there. Could have gone for a machine gun. Went for the plasma. The machine gun does have a kind of... Um, a spray on it you don't know you know it doesn't always spray so you never know from that distance if you were gonna hit with all like three shots that he would have got off or just like one and one shot might not have been enough to kill him i think two plasmas top yellow middle yellow sorry is oh sorry yeah middle yellow i hate the way they put these yellows here one good rocket waiting for the second but gets flicked and Maddox was very smartly actually waiting for a good second rocket after connecting the first one. But the problem with his first rocket was that he hit directly and didn't actually cause any kind of movement um, control onto his opponent. Like, if you flick him with a rocket, you know, you know you can hit a good second. But he actually just kind of caught it on the chest. And then he was looking for that good second rocket while he was in mid-air, knowing that he had to hit it. Couldn't hit it. And uh, JP's rocket actually flicked him and uh, got the better of Maddox, so we do have, uh, once again, a, a pretty close game and situation. JP did get the Mega, but he just caught a rocket, which is going to fire nu nullify 100 of his health, and 41 health is going to be eaten away with the LG, trying to get the LG off the spawn. He hasn't got a good rotation on these uh, on the on the yellows. He should have gone for the uh, yellow up by, by uh, sorry, Mega, and now Mega's up, and I think that rocket to LG kill is probably going to be the end of him. Seven frags of difference. Maddox playing very loose here. Took a lot of damage. 50 health is probably just going to be taken or it's not even up. But Maddox. Hello. Caught with some plasma spam. Misses his spam rocket. Wins the fight with LG though. He, uh, he took the same amount of damage as he delivered. But in a better situation, he definitely would have come out top or feeling that way. So he's just got to make sure that he picks his fight nicely. He's going to jump in. 
and he knows he can take the damage and he's unlucky not to land on the uh, health and he's going to be pushed away with only 10 HP and Maddox there you know that was a good flick rocket uh, from uh, JP really kind of pushed Maddox off the uh, items and you know he was waiting for the two health and the mega so there was 150 health available for Maddox in the room after he missed out on the 50 and that's like the worst thing that could have happened to him and there comes a nice rocket and he's actually flicked in the air that actually gave him a good advantage in the fight but JP will pick up the kill he's going to move um, Brad closer as we have a different of six Maddox trying to be cheeky there trying to shoot a rocket trying to anticipate a drop down onto Mega Mega will be spawning. JP has definitely got the time on it. He's uh, delayed taking it and given away two yellows. And he actually, he's given away the Mega. And that was an item he picked up last. And I think Maddox knows that's the kill for him. And that's a, a big mistake from JP. Got to keep uh, you know, a keen eye on the uh, Mega time here. A lot of the fighting between you know two quality professionals. Well, I'll most likely always be around the Mega very kind of pivotal point for who gets position, who's out of position, who gets the kills. It's like a mashup area, the pit down there. It's um, the paddling pool of death because there you go, you just kind of jump in and that forces a fight where no one can really leave. It's about hitting those good rockets. So uh, JP should have been able to take at least one yellow and then force a mega fight previously, but just kind of giving two yellows and mega away to Maddox, that's going to be the end of him. Good two rockets there for Maddox. Hopefully my levels are okay and I'm not crackling. Hopefully I'm not cutting out. Trying to be uh, loud enough, but of course, please give feedback on the IRC channel. Level up, and uh, that's up with the arrow. As if you were doing like a Korean smiley. Just one of those. Like we're going to be moving into the last 50 seconds. I do believe the finals is most likely going to be best of three in the BYOC. As are all our group stages. Just looking uh, up at me, looks like we've got even more players sat down. It looks like Faz and Fox might be the first game we'll be showing. They're sat down on the kind of uh, stage area of the tournament area, where they'll be, uh, they have a nice monitor to the left of them. Nice uh, big uh, kind of 37-inch, 42-inch uh, plasma. I'm not sure what it is, but so uh, spectators here can see. They won't be able to hear my commentary, though, because if we put me on speakers... So, uh, well, we'll be moving into those games hopefully shortly. I know DreamHack is a bit of a, a festival rather than, you know, the uh, the biggest tournament uh, area and a lot of things do get delayed. So uh, I'm here. Happens. And it looks like we are going to finish then 2-0 in favor of Maddox. Finishing a second map 15 to 5. Uh, hitting a, a big difference in accuracy. 20% overall versus the 15. And it looks like that's... Uh, I don't know anything really when I'm here. I wasn't even meant to do this. I just kind of turned up and said I can do this. But yeah, it is going to be over. But JP will qualify. And you can definitely see he's um, got the kind of weapon choice down. He's got the... Um, he can get some good ambushes. But like when the game's not going his favor, it, it really does take uh, you know, a master to be able to kind of throw these players off like Maddox. And he didn't have the kind of fast enough movement. Sensitivity was uh, a little bit high. And, uh, you know, it just kind of got outclassed, but that's uh, a big, you know, you kind of, you play because you love the game and you get to that point and then you start playing pros and you kind of, you really have to rethink, like, how you're playing. And, uh, of course, there isn't like a, um, you don't teach Quake Live like you teach tennis. No one tells you what grip you should be using. You know, everyone's very unique since we all just kind of got good how we wanted to. So, uh, JP, yeah, definitely some talent, but great play from Maddox. Still, uh, uh, Maddox didn't seem as strong as I would have liked to have seen him. Uh, definitely just gave some opportunities away uh, to his opponent. And maybe it's just because he just felt he was stronger. He didn't need to kind of uh, have to handle you know, someone uh, as tough as his uh, upcoming opponents. And probably just didn't want to like, you know, go overdrive and stuff out before he has to sit down in the, uh, the main event. So we'll have to see how that one works out. And... So, uh, Bettiger, you're there. You don't need statistics on this game. This was... Uh... Really? I've been working uh, the <laughs> Really? Well, no, because yeah. honestly, do it, because then you'll be a legend. Because then we'll, we'll, be, like, we'll be like the NBA, where we could say, uh, we could say like, Fox gets uh, 
gets uh, 62 percent of his uh frags in the uh final x minutes or something i don't know <laughs> But you know what I mean? But it's interesting because I honestly I did all the stats and I've got like a whole spreadsheet and I can tell you like, you know, like the reason like, you know, if, if Cypher plays, um, you know, like someone like Fox on, on ZTN, I'll tell you what um, weapon Cypher is going to mostly get his kills with. And so you kind of um, you learn a little bit more about the players and I think they will learn a little bit more about themselves because then you could be like, oh, Cypher gets most of his kills with Rocket Launcher. I'm going to take away the rocket launcher and then I'm going to leave him with LG Railgun and then see what he works with like with that. Cause right now Cypher, you know, he commits a lot and gets a lot of his kills with rocket launcher on, um, on that map. Well, but yeah, that's so, then. So, you know, do it and then you'll be legend and then level up will be the new, um, the be ESPN of quake live. Uh, also, by the way, uh, a big shout out um, to you guys at Level Up, but also to the other people that wanted to commentate DreamHack. Um, I do believe that QuakeLive.tv might be doing some coverage. Um, Grease Scotsman, the uh, owner, unfortunately isn't available, but I think they've got someone in America on hand. Um, I was going to like commentate with anybody who really had the stream, but of course, uh, you know, Level Up got it, so, uh, you know, good job. And uh, also, holy shit, they were uh, going to do some coverage, and they've been doing a great job supporting Quake as well. So all those guys... I'm sure we'll uh, be watching. And also, uh, Game Sports, my girlfriend's going to be commentating the semi finals and finals in Germany. And uh, she's very pretty. And if you tune into her stream, you get to see tits. You don't what? Who's my girlfriend? She's um, Zoe. Okay. I'm talking, I'm talking to the invisible man right now. Doesn't believe I have a girlfriend. Um, and he's even making jokes as the invisible man. That they can't hear you. Right. Go fuck yourself, Trance. So yeah, that's the BYC game over. Uh, Pax, when are we moving into group stages? Quarter past five. Fuck my life. What time is it now, Pax? Huh? About two hours. Oh my god, that's a long time. That's a long way away. Um... Maybe, maybe we could uh, just uh, speak to somebody. Is that Maddox? Maddox! Maddox. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Maddox now. You might not be able to hear him as well as me because I'm going to have to give him the microphone. Um, Maddox. I'm live. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the microphone out and I'm going to talk to you. All right. Whoa, one second. One second. I'm going to have to hold this in your face like some unwanted black penis or something. So you're going to have to just embrace it. It's a big microphone, isn't it? Please. One second. Table's tight. Okay, so uh, we're on level up, your game.net. We just watched your uh, BYOC. Um, you've, you had to sit in the BYOC and might. Look at this. My cable's not long enough. Come closer. Um, you had to sit in the BYOC and play. Um, obviously, BYOC, not many people coming here to try and be professional or quite live. They're all turning up to try and sleep with 15-year-old girls or, you know, play Heroes of New Earth. Um, but, you know, you turned up to play um, to play Quake Live. In the BYOC, you know, why no invite? Why BYOC? I wanted one. But, uh, they never gave me one. I told Motherfuckers. Them. Do you realize the admins are just behind you? Yeah, I don't care. I mean... Uh... I asked them for an invite instead of uh, forcing me to play the uh, BI blah blah blah. But um, pay a ticket for 85 euros and uh, pull them. Uh... But you're through. You've done the hard work. And now everyone likes you because you've got the story. It's kind of like, you know, like now you've come and you've done that. You know, we want to see you go through it and do better. Um, in front of us, a bunch of uh, players that you're going to be playing. You know them all. You, you know they sat down. They've uh, been given IP treatment. Everybody in the invite tourney era, you know, gets massages. You know, you're in BYOC, but you know they get hand massages and stuff. Um, are you? Uh, what? How do you feel about yourself? You know, versus you know everyone here at the competition now. How good are you feeling? Sure. What group to pick yet? Because I can pick uh, whichever group I want. That's better than being fucking invited. What are you on about? You get to pick your group. I mean, Kulo's not coming. Let's look at the groups. And we're talking to Maddox, by the way. Are you still with anybody? You were with XLO. Are you still with him? 
Hey, Druid, yeah, the Swedish organization. That's a, a great team. They've actually got some Street Fighter 4 guys here just to the left of me. Um, so we got the groups. We've got Fox, Sparty, Guard, Demon. So no BYOC there. When we've got Noctis, Zamus, and also a BYOC in Group B with no cooler. So, you know, if you go there... You know, you've only got to beat one of those two guys. Um, and then we got Group C. You got Avec, Strengths, Kilson, and BYOC. Fuck that group. Don't go in there, dude. Um, then we got Group D, which is Cypher, Sturmy, Faz, and a BYOC. Um, I think it's already uh, decided for you, surely. Deciding uh, between. Oh, one a... Actually, deciding between uh, Strengths Group and uh, one with Samus and Noctis. And anything can happen. Someone's played with my cables. Get me some more cable. So we are just talking to Maddox, and I know everyone's a lot quieter than me, and I've had to kind of adjust the microphone levels here to, to cut out the um, crazy ambient noise. Oh! Over up his... Right. So which group were you going to go for again? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Uh, it's either same as the Noctis group or uh, the one with strengths, uh, Avec, etc. Because anything can happen in that group. Bench and all those online heroes. <laughs> nice. Um, you just said strengths and Avic, anything can happen, but you don't mention Kilson. Um, Kilson right now, in my opinion, is probably played more quite live than a lot of other people. Um, he's looking really hot online. He's had some great results. Uh, is he not a threat to that group, or do you just think it's all about um, you know Avic and strengths? Take down those two. No, no, no. Kilson is really good, and uh, I think he can even finish on top of that group. I want to be in that group because I want to take down strengths on LAN and also because Avic promised me to woo, whoop my ass because I uh, destroyed him online. You're like a man on a mission, this guy, right? You, you get denied the uh, main slot, so you're already, it's like uh, Maddox versus the admins, and then you've got a couple people in the same group that are already kind of like shut you down. So it, it's like, do you just want to, you just, okay, you look like a man on a mission. I, you, you're scaring me now, Maddox. I haven't crushed you in any way, have I? No, you haven't. God for that. All right, then. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Um, any predictions for a winner? Um, you know, at least, who do you expect to see? You know, what kind of players do you expect to see in the finals here? I'd say Noctis and Cypher. Okay, well, there you go. Thank you, Maddox, and good luck with Druids, and we wish you the best of luck when you go sit down in either Group B or if you've got Big Balls, Group C. Thank you. There you go, then. Maddox, huge Swedish testicles here. He's literally come in to the tournament, and he was had to pay money. The only um, professional player, and he is professional, great player. Um, he's a Glad to bring his own PC. Not so bad, though, if you live in Sweden. One second, I'm going to reset my microphone um, in the stand. And, yeah, he's like... <laughs> Avec said he was going to whip him. He wants to take on strength on, uh, on, on LAN. And he's got an easy route if he goes to Group B. I mean, he's got Noctis, which is, yeah, a formidable player. But Noctis, you got to remember... You know, he's put a lot of time into kind of Team Death, and he was a little bit emo over Jewel, um, to be fair. Um, but then you've also got Zamus, and, you know, Zamus was in the finals um, last DreamHack. Waving to Fox right now. I'm so VIP. I just got waved at. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I don't know. Like, I would definitely pick that group. Now Cooler's not here, and I don't know who's going to take the last spot. But um, Betacher, you're, uh, you're still listening, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about um, you know Maddox and you know his uh, decisions? What do you think he should do? Oh, I think Group B, I'd go with myself. That's just he's got a lot of balls going into like Avex Strengths Group. I think I don't, they've done quite well on LAN as well. I've got um, I'm, I'm I've just got people looking over Zamus. You're so big now, Zamus. What have you been doing? Well, who the who have you been eating? You don't know. So Zamus has just come over. He's got tattoos, good sleeves, and uh, we're on. Uh, we're live. Nice. Yeah, it is nice. And uh, how are you feeling anyway? We'll talk to you a little bit later. Yeah, but how 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 are you? Do you want to talk to us now? Come on. I need another chair. Yeah, dude. Go grab a chair. Uh, I'm gonna get Zamus. Just kind of. Hopefully my voice activation. 
um, is going to pick him up. I know Zamus is a lot louder, especially... Are you the pasta eater? I am the pasta eater, yeah. That was my lunch. It was nice. fucking horrible. All right. So, microphone in your face is what's going to happen. Um, we're live on... Uh, we're, we're going out to levelupyourgame.net, right? So, we're going to be streaming your games. And uh, we've got a lot of people, at least in IRC, and we're going to have uh, more. Um, oh, my girlfriend... I was talking about my girlfriend's tits on stream earlier. She just sent me a Skype message. The lovely titties, baby. The lovely. Um, then I am going to just check out the groups because I have so much information in front of me. And then we'll talk a little bit about what you're doing and what you're up to. All right. So uh, this is Zamus. Are you um, representing anybody this time around? Yeah, Rise, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's <laughs> Tybalt or something. Call. He, he sent me over here with Fass. I'm staying at the same hotel and have a nice time. <laughs> See, that's the weirdest sponsor <laughs> introduction or I, I've ever heard, Zamus. All right, so um, last time you came to DreamHack, you made it to the grand finals. You uh, you sat down and you were you were kick ass all the way up to it, and then you played the grand finals. And I don't think you bought your A game. Um, you know, how, how do you feel coming back into DreamHack summer? Ah, it feels okay, but I have not been playing so much lately, so. I think I have the, um, I don't know, it feels like DreamHack Winter. I didn't play that much before that event either, so we will see. No pressure. Is that how you like it? No pressure? Yeah. Is that, is that life for you as well? Yeah. The no pressure kind of guy. All right then, so uh, no pressure, but you are in the uh, group that just lost, um, just lost Cooler. So, um, disappointed, because it's always fun to play against Cooler, you know, it's, it's, it's always just nice to play versus the, I would say he's kind of like the, the Quake live child, because we also saw him grew up, you know, grow up playing Quake, and, you know, from when he was very young at 16 to, you know, how old he is now, yeah. but you, 23 or something, yeah, so, yeah, so we, we kind of like, you know, we've seen him grow up uh, playing Quake, but is it a shame not to have him in your group, or are you just like, whatever? It's like whatever, but every time I play him, it's like deja vu. You never know what's going gonna happen, and but I I'm pretty sure that he will beat me like eight or ten times. So I'm I think I'm glad that he dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, what about Noctis? Um, he's he hasn't actually put in a good DreamHack performance before. Um, I don't even know how many he's actually attended, but when you think Noctis, you think of his big events as the Intel Extreme Masters. Um, I don't know, really know how much he's been training, but how do you feel about playing Noctis? And he's a very kind of, you know, you play, I mean, you would probably out-aim him on LG if if that was to come down to LG, LG fight. But uh, smart-wise, you both have enough experience to know when you're at a disadvantage or advantage. So how do you feel about playing Noctis? What's going to be the difference? I'm not pretty sure about that. I have never ever played him before, even it's not not on LAN or online. So uh, I'm pretty sure about that. He ha he's he has improved on LAN since DreamHack the last year, and um, uh, I don't know. It's it's nice to play a new player that you ever never ever have been played before. And uh, I just want to ask you about the maps as well, because, um, I mean, I'm talking to you. No one else were here. It's a super secret. Um, you know, what, what, what kind of maps are you looking to pick? Are you still going to go for your infamous kind of ZTN style, or do you like um, the new maps as well? I, I know you've had, obviously, they're not really new maps now any, anymore, but is there any kind of favorite, like uh, like your LG on T9, or is it more of ZTN? Mm, I will remove T7 almost every, t every time I will play here, so... Yeah, I think we are going to play T9, DN6, uh, DN13, or CDN. Well, uh, that will be the matches. So uh, before I let, I'm going to let you go back to the tournament area because uh, we are going to take a break here. We think we've got the group starting uh, in a couple of hours, but it's always good to see you again. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, we wish you the best of luck. And any last shout outs? I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get you back over as well. So you can you can shout out anybody. Um, I had to shout out to Carl, my manager, that he made me make the opportunity to go here. Without him, I wouldn't go. Without him, you wouldn't be able to get your ass down from Stockholm to John Shipping to play in a Quake tournament. This is three hours away for 5,000 euros. I mean, do you, uh, what, you're like, a, like some sort of boss. What's going on here? Would you really not have come without his uh, help? 
or sponsorship or would you just kind of been like ah oh, watch the level up stream this looks good um i would have stayed at home and watched <laughs> world tournament from my yeah whatever my computer All right well you know hopefully we haven't taken you too far out of the comfort zone and I, I you know i always think that you're just one of these players that has so much experience you can always just like you know pull out a, a grand finals and uh, it'll be interesting to see um you know what kind of damage you're going to do and i think everyone's looking forward to it so thanks a lot zamus thank you take it easy yeah the, this man is off one second so i reset my mic and zamus is just checking my schedule now he's being nosy Good time. yeah he's looking at his first game which is uh, six o'clock we're here to be playing against uh, the BYOC, which is uh, most likely going to be Maddox now, um, unless they move the second BYOC in there because uh, Cooler was meant to play Noctis at the same time, so I guess that will be Maddox versus Zamus. And, uh, uh, you know, we're scheduled for a 5.15 uh, CT start, so if you're in the, the UK, that's a... And, and, uh... Oh, okay, we might be uh, later then. It might be 5.44. I... I, I... I hope it's 5.15. I mean, it's like, there's no reason to have... I mean, they literally, these players are going to be sitting around for two hours looking for food and just kind of um, warming up. Um, but yeah, no, um, interesting talk to Zamus. Um, also, uh, you know, Maddox, I, I really kind of like his, you know, his ambition, his kind of deter determination here. And I think, you know, when you come to a tournament and you play, you have like um, a goal. I mean, when I went to tournaments, my goal was, was to, to come top eight. So I'd win 2000 euros, which is normally like top eight in ESWC or um, uh, other events. And then as soon as I won money, I was like, Woo I get paid. And then after that, I just kind of flopped. But I wasn't even that good, um, to be fair. So like I had a goal and uh, I most of it, most of the time. And I think Maddox's goal is... Um, yeah, a pretty big one. But I do believe he's actually gone and put himself into Group B. I think if he didn't, then, you know, Group Group B would have just been Noctis and Zamus would have qualified. And uh, Maddox is like, well, I'd rather try and take down Avec and Strengths quarters or the Semmels. Um, are you requesting Strengths? Strengths isn't here. Um, he was playing practice earlier. Uh, sorry, people were requesting interviews. And he was just um, super serious. Um, I also have to say, um, by the way, um, always give feedback on the levels. And if I'm cutting out microphone wise, it's very hard for me to kind of, um, I mean, I'm my own audio producer at the moment and I'm using mumble, which I never ever use apart from when I fail for team UK. Um, so I'm okay. Well, I'm just doing the best I can, but I know that the players will be a lot quieter than me and I'm wearing like headsets to kind of block out all the noise around me so uh, if they don't get picked up i do apologize um Bettiger. yes um how, how did you feel about zamus then just kind of turning up to play uh if i'm honest i was actually working out my formulas in excel so i could keep track of the stats oh, yes. <laughs> dude I you're know. you're a boss man you are boss and trance it's so annoying that you don't um we can't said. hear him. It's like yeah. missing half a conversation. You can't hear trance. Kind of weird. All right, then, guys. So uh, I guess uh, I'm going to shoot off. The uh, next updates you're going to get are going to be in the uh, Level Up channel. Um, so make sure you head over there on IRC once again, or just stay tuned to the, uh, the, the website page. There is a, um, an overlay that Trance is updating to tell you what's going on. At the moment, all the players do look pretty bored, so I do hope we get them into the games. And of course, it is going to be um, the first day of um, DreamHack you know, after we just finished the BYOC. So we are going to have two groups being played, and they are going to be, um, I do believe, Group A and B, unless I'm mental, which uh, could be the case. I have to check my schedule again. But either way, you're going to see some great matches, and uh, we'll have to see what kind of form all the players are in and this is the largest gaming festival dream hack and we're brought to you as i want to get level up level up your game.net and uh, also a big thanks to rakaka who are streaming other stuff we've also got honcast here and some great stuff to watch so if you want to like take a couple of hours and watch some hon you can go over to honcast.net they're going to do the hon tournament rakaka are doing a lot of counter-strike um even if it's in swedish they're probably still doing it awesomely and we've got some street fighter here and I've got streamers to the left of me. I know they must be streaming. I don't think they... Um, should ask them. Because you guys... I know I love watching Super Street Fighter. Um, for, there's like... The weird thing is, yeah, is that in the Quake tournament area, there's about... I don't know. There's like eight gamers turned up. And then I look to the left of me and the Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4, you know, and there's also devastation going on right now, I do believe, in uh, America, which is uh, with DJ Wheat and uh, the other one. 
um you know so there's a you know, there's you know fighting tournaments over there but over here uh, we actually have rows and rows of street fighter 4 uh, players with their um you know mad cats joysticks or uh, you know various other joysticks but a mad cats tournament edition seems to be the favorite among them and uh, it looks like a really big tournament so um hopefully they've got a stream and maybe i could uh, uh, point you towards that uh, while we wait for the quake live but either way i'll be back a little bit later and i'll sign out and uh, we'll leave you with a nice overlay and then we'll be back in a roughly, hopefully, two hours where the group's going to start, and it is going to be absolutely fucking awesome. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope uh, you appreciate the commentary and everything that Level Up are doing, because, well, I mean, I'm not paid to do this like I normally am. I just said I'd do it, because I don't give a fuck. So that's why I'm here. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. See you in a bit. Do we know how the group's going to look out now after the BYOC, so I can do my little spreadsheet? Uh, group B. Maddox. Maddox, Group B, okay. What about Group A? They had a few BYOC guys as well.